That sounds really good, I think. <laughs> uh, obviously, I didn't... Uh, I'm actually really shocked. Okay, so I was scrolling through Facebook. I saw an ad, and the ad was Isotope. Let's see if I could pull it up, if it's still there. I'm sure if I kept going down, it'll pop up. Dang. Okay, I'm just gonna go to Isotope's Facebook and just show you what I saw, which was this. Bam! Basically 50% off, it's a flash sale limited time, although I guarantee you it's not limited. I was particularly interested in this one. It's for a good price. It's only at $29. It has vocal assistant. It's a redesigned UI, improved fluid metering, uh, pitch clarity, DS, dynamics, tone, and space controls. So uh, yeah, let's try it out. This video is not sponsored by Isotope. I do partner with them on some projects, but this one is not one of them. And the website looks pretty neat. Okay, let's scroll down. And here is Nectar Elements. Cool. Let's check out. It just gave me 5% off if I add it right to my cart. All you gotta do is wait there and act like you're gonna purchase it and it pops up. Now you know. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's check out. Success, installed. Now let's open it in FL Studio. Let's load it. And there we go. You have to start by telling Nectar what you're going for. So what kind of vibe are you going for? A, a vintage, modern, or dialogue? I don't know. I would probably just modern vibe. Um, are you going light, moderate, or aggressive? Uh, well, let's play this song and see. Now would be a good time to talk about our artist featured in this video. He goes by the name of Mike O'Neill. This is a song called No Way. I did mix and master this song for him already. So we can actually hear what this sounds like before we play with Nectar 3. This is gonna be my vocal chain that's already on there. So let's go ahead and take a listen to what it sounds like here. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady, yet he never gotta weave up. Uh, getting switchy on the change up. Enemy hit me cause you really know what's rings up. Uh, I'm getting tired of being sick and tired. But my prayers still rise cause he hit my cry. So my pride falls deeper, deeper. Proud of seed sown for the reaper. This is my season to... That's what it sounds like before. And then if we turn my vocal chain preset off, that's what it sounds like. Gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady, yet he never gotta weave up. Uh, getting switchy on the change up. Enemy hit me cause you really know what's rings up. Sick and tired. That's the lead vocal that we're going to be working with. Let's start by doing this. I'm going to disconnect everything as far as the reverb, delay, and reverb and delay two goes. Let's keep auto tune on. I'm going to turn off everything else in this mixer channel. And let's go ahead and turn Nectar on. And we're just going to keep it very modern and moderate. So let's go ahead and press go and play the vocals. So right away, obviously the volume, you need to turn it up. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady, yet he never gotta waver. Uh getting switchy on a change up. And Let's bypass it and see what it sounds like before and after. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady, yet he never gotta waver. Uh getting switchy on a change up. Before I mess with these faders, what I'm gonna do is try another Nectar 3 and compare the differences between I, th I believe it was modern and moderate settings and change it to like aggressive and whatever, the higher settings, if you will. So let's go ahead and clone this. For reference purposes, I'm gonna name this Nectar 3 Elements and we're gonna go modern, just so we know that that's what we chose for the first one. Let's try dialogue and aggressive. Let's go ahead and press go and hear what it sounds like. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it there's no reason to doubt I will grow. Such a relief from the drought. This one is definitely more polished. I mean, it's more clear. There is no space. I'm assuming space is reverb. Yeah, the amount of reverb applied to a signal. And what's this one? Tone. Obviously, the amount of tone. Okay. You got the dynamics. That's the compression. DS, obviously, DS or clarity. We already went through that. The pitch is auto tune or pitch correction. How does it know what pitch it's in? Hmm. Not a lot you can do here with the functionality of this. It's very simple. But anyway, let's hear what it sounds like now. But my prayers still rise because he hit my cry. So my pride falls deeper, deeper. Pride of seed sown for the reaper. 
this is my I want to go through each fader and just hear the highs and lows. Basically, it's like a trial and error test just to see how it sounds. Let's play it. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady. I'm going to turn space down for a little bit. Let's go to clarity. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady, yet he never got a wave up. Uh, getting switchy on a change up. Enemy hit me because he really know his reins up. Uh, I'm getting tired of being sick and tired. But my prayers still rise because he hit my cry. So my pride falls deeper, deeper. Proud of seed sown for the reaper. This is my season to sprout. There is no reason to doubt I will grow. When it turned the dynamics up or the compressor, you can definitely hear it's getting over compressed. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady, yet he never got a waiver. Uh, getting switchy on a change up. Enemy hit me because he really know his reins up. Uh, I'm getting tired of being sick and tired. But my prayers still rise because he hit my cry. So my pride falls deeper, deeper. Proud of seed sown for the reaper. Since he's rapping, I feel like tone should be up more than usual. That will make the vocals in your face and punchy. Let's go ahead and label this one aggressive. And what I want to do is do a comparison between the two and see if there's actually any difference or if it matters even setting up the modern and moderate versus dialogue and aggressive. I like the way this aggressive one is sounding so far. Let's go ahead and look at modern and see if there's going to be any difference. We got pitch to zero. Clarity on the aggressive track is 1.2. Let's go to 1.2. Let's copy these settings at 1. Tone at 1.1 and the reverb at 0.6. So now I'm going to turn both of these on and I'm going to bypass the modern lead. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady, yet he never got a waiver. Uh, getting switchy on a change this. up. Enemy hit me because he really know his reins up. Uh, I'm getting tired of being sick and tired, but my prayers still rise because he hit my cry. So my pride falls deeper, deeper. There is a difference. I really thought that it would not matter. Okay, so this does dive a little bit deeper than I thought it would. That tells me now that your vocals are going to sound different if you choose vintage and light versus dialogue and aggressive. So now I want to see how it compares to my vocal chains. So let's turn off modern and let's turn studio rack on. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady yet he never got a wave up. Uh, getting switchy on a change up. Enemy hit me because he really know his reins up. That to me sounds really good. Um, obviously. That's also because I have hundreds of dollars worth of plugins on this one vocal chain. Whereas this one, the aggressive one that we liked, was only 29. Oh, 27 because it gave us a $5 discount code for some reason. I'm going to compare both of them. So let's see what it sounds like now. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady yet he never got a waiver. Uh, getting switchy on a change up. That sounds really good, I think. <laughs> uh, obviously, I didn't, uh, I'm actually really shocked. Okay, if I apply my delays and reverbs that I had, and let's just take the reverb out of this one, and let's hear what it sounds like now. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady, yet he never got a waiver. Uh, getting switchy on a change up. Enemy hit me because he really know his reins up. Uh, I'm getting tired of being sick and tired, but my prayers still rise because he hit my cry. So my pride falls deeper, deeper. Proud of seed sown for the reaper. Let's try my vocal chain now. Yeah, gotta stay prayed up. Keep it steady, yet he never got a waiver. Uh, getting switchy on a change up. Enemy hit me because he really know his reins up. Uh, I'm getting. All right, so to be honest, I'm I'm really surprised. The difference between my vocal chains and Nectar's, there is a slight difference in just the tonality of the overall vocals, but that plugin is $29 versus these plugins, which are hundreds of dollars. And although I'm a Waves ambassador, and hopefully they don't watch this video, the best bang for your buck, I would say Nectar Elements definitely gets the job done. Now, of course, this is just one example. I'm not sure how it's going to pan out with everybody's vocals. I would say that if you own a home studio and you are on a budget and you don't have the money to purchase Waves, I would definitely look at Nectar Elements. Of course, it's $27. It's a flash sale, but I would honestly wait for the holidays coming up because it will go back on sale again. That's just how their marketing works. I've noticed that in the last couple of years. I'm looking to hear what your thoughts are. What did you think? Did you hear the hundreds of dollars worth of difference in your headphones when it came to this? Did you like Nectar Elements plug-in versus my vocal chain? I mean, what are your guys' thoughts? Looking forward to hearing them in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see next. Until next time, guys, I appreciate your support. Peace.